This original trophy represents everything that is hard as hell. There is just under 70 pounds of steel in this beast, and it has survived punishment during the inaugural season of the Hard as Hell series. Many will travel this great nation in search of victory, but only one will prevail. If your name is on the front of this magnificent work of art, then you are a beast as well, and you should be commended for your valiant efforts, physical feats, and marksmanship. You have proven yourself superior to all that come forth, and congratulations, for you are Hard as Hell. Hard as Hell. Hard as hell. Hard as hell. We are in beautiful St. George, Utah, shooting the JP Enterprises Hard as Hell three gun match. It's amazing here, having a great time. The match was conceived by my currently 21 year old son, Brian, who's the range master this week, when he was 12, and then we executed at age 13. It was designed basically to be exactly what the name says hard as hell. Every facet of shooting, uh, physicality, stage strategy, everything we can think to ratchet up the hardness dial to 10, that's what we do in this match. You know, one thing that's drawn me to hard as hell has been a lot of the video content that's came out of this match, some of the stage designs, the props that everybody's had to use, and it's just been really exciting. You know it's going to be hard. They offer different divisions. It's just an exciting match, and the name just draws people in by itself. So I've had my eye on this match, uh, the Hard as Hell match, since I first got into uh, three-gun shooting. And the idea of the name Hard as Hell was very um, attractive. And the fact that it was attractive more so is you actually have to do really physical things. You have to carry uh, steel from one section to the other. You have to carry a, a mock machine gun underneath a tunnel. And you have to crawl, run. And all of that is really exciting. So this year for this match, I decided I wanted to do Trooper Division. In Trooper Division, you start half a mile out, you have to carry everything in on your bag, uh, on your back, so anything I can carry in is pretty much game for me to use. And so when you're doing that, uh, it really stresses on what you bring in, how you carry it, and how you conduct yourself during the match so you don't uh, shoot out all of your ammunition or get really reckless and you start thinking a little bit differently. Uh, so we started uh, stage one in a B-12 bomber in the back of it. And I believe the whole premise behind the bomber was it had been shot down and we're laying, uh, you know, kind of landed. 
and we're shooting our way out of the bomber. So you, you start in the back and you get to a shotgun, shoot out some ports on, on both sides, right and left of it. And you move in uh, to the doors. And anyways, you kind of make your way all the way up into the shooter's nest and, and engage falling steel and flying clays. Before you exit, run, I don't know, 25, 30 yards, something like that, and go some more uh, target. Really fun stage. I, I really like the amount of time that went into putting the stage together. So I like stage two mostly because um, it was more of like a freestyle. So you got to kind of pick where you went and like how you wanted to uh, get the most points possible. And I really liked the roof for some reason and challenging yourself with rifle. I like shooting the 6.5 Creedmoors, uh, the LRP07 that was in 6.5 Creedmoor. Uh, we did the spinners on it. I think. I was a little too patient to get it to spin, but you could definitely get that spinner to spin in two shots. You know, if, you, if you've never shot hard as hell, the one thing I would suggest that you do is learn your buckshot, learn your slugs, be ready to shoot in very uncomfortable positions. Somebody new to this match, I would say really focus on getting through the stages. Don't worry about going too fast or just doing really anything but getting through the stage, not timing out, and if you do, make sure that you get all your engagement. So engage everything, try to do it penalty free, but don't focus too much on going super fast, just because this match, you could make an air, even if it's pretty big, and you can typically come back from it just because it's that long. The best thing I can recommend is that you go to the match maybe a day or two early, and you try to do as many walkthroughs as you can, ask questions, ask them about the stage, ask uh, what style of shooting you have to do, where you can engage certain targets, and getting all of that personal round count in, so then you can account for what you may or may not miss, and that way you can have everything prepared and ready to go and a little bit more organized, and have fun. This is a very difficult match to finish, yet everybody does. So I hope what they take is a sense of shared sacrifice and getting everybody through it. That means lending gear, ammo, uh, and emotional support. A lot of times that's what's ne actually necessary to get through it. Um, we're very pleased that we've had 72-year-old people finish this match and 12-year-old young ladies. 
So it's a hard match, but if you work together and really focus, you will finish. This is how you uh, take the pack off. 